Hello, Internet. Welcome back to another edition of Eric's Corner with a word of the not so wise. Um, this is another one of those videos that uh, kind of gives me the warm and fuzzies about having my own YouTube channel. I mean, hopefully with more than the 20, I think, seven subscribers I'm up to. And uh, I think I'm a little under 700 views. I expect a little bit more. I'm, I'm almost, I think this is my 49th video, so almost 50 videos out. Um, so, you know, if you like my content, spread the word, you know, click the share button. You know, I try sharing my content under relevant uh, news posts and so on and so forth. So uh, doing my uh, due diligence and spamming the world with my nonsense. Um, but today I'm going to um, put Alaska Airlines on blast for a couple of reasons. Um, I went to, or my wife went to rather, buy an airline ticket, I think for... I remember it was for me or if he was uh, flying her sister up with it or something. Um, the So how airline miles work, basically, you know, the cost of the ticket is directly correlated to how many miles it takes. You know, makes sense. It's not just 50,000 miles. Hey, I'll just fly you anywhere in the world, put you up in, in a hotel or whatever. Um, all inclusive. It's, you know, it's correlated to the price um so to buy the ticket was like four hundred dollars but to buy the ticket through my rewards program was thirteen hundred dollars it it was like three times what it sh it cost to buy it through the rewards program and it was like 120,000 points when a 400 hundred dollar ticket should be like thirty thousand points or something uh, it's it's like 10,000 points per hundred dollars, roughly is what the math works out to. I think it's something like that. So, okay, cool. Um, so the 3% cash back is far better because your airline points accrue to being like an eighth of a cent per dollar you spend or something. It's not very much versus 3% cash back is, you know, three cents per dollar. Do the math. That's a lot more. It doesn't seem like it, but it adds up. Um, but so it was... It's just completely rating my airline miles. I mean, I've, I've very rarely bought airline tickets with my points. Uh, I like to save them for emergencies versus, you know, if I have the cash, I'll just spend it. But, you know, I've accrued, you know, somewhere like 400,000 points. And this is uh, the same account I've had since I was uh, 17. So it's taken a lot of years. It's, well, that's, well, that's almost 20 years now. Um, so, you know... And I'm going to touch on a couple of subjects here. So, you know, when you look at people that do well for themselves and have lots of money, um, you have that kind of money, it, it's easier to keep your money because when you run a business or something, I have a buddy, his dad's got a, a water hauling business. You know, I'm in a small town and people have to have water hauled. Not everybody has wells and a lot of places don't have city water. And he said it's like 25 grand a month that he puts on his credit card just buying water from the city that, you know, he, of course you know, sells to his customer. So 300,000 points a year, and that's just that one business, and that's just that one expense. And, you know, airline miles, or your rewards program, rather, that covers uh, rental cars, hotels, and all kinds of stuff. So once you do that well, it's easier to keep your money. And you can buy things in bulk. Like, again, same same uh, example I'm using. Um, this, this truck company buys DEF, uh, diesel exhaust fluid, for the dump trucks and semis that he's running and water trucks. And I mean, what is that stuff, like $13 a gallon? I don't know. I've, I've had the fortune of having never owned one of those pieces of shit that have to run DEF. Um, and it, it burns a lot of it, especially when you're towing. I guess you really go through the shit. Um, so I recommend deleting them, but um, he can't because it's, you know, it's a company thing but he buys it by the 250 gallon iso cube so instead of being 13 bucks a gallon I i'm just guessing it's got to be like three to five bucks a gallon so and fuel when i have fuel delivered for my heaters you know heating oil it's diesel fuel basically um they cap the tax at like 50 bucks or something so whether i buy you know a uh, thousand gallons uh, maybe it's 50 bucks in taxes or uh, ten thousand gallons and, you know, you, you, the more you buy at a time, you might get a few cents off a gallon. So if you start running that stuff in your pickup, which you're not supposed to, which I, of course, don't because I don't happen to own a diesel, at least at the moment. Um, I don't even run it in my generator or my uh, skid steer or heavy equipment because it's off-road it's off diesel and doesn't get highway tax and all that stuff. So when, when you have make this kind of money, you 
it's easier to save your money. So that's why I encourage everybody, start some kind of small business. Yeah, at least do something where you can write things off as tax write-offs. I have a buddy bought a truck. This was before used vehicle prices went and It was like 40 grand, but it was a tax write-off. So therefore, it saves him 10 grand in taxes. He basically paid 30 grand for this truck by being able to write it off. So... Um, so use your, use your benefits wisely or your, uh, your, your perks, um, you know, get out, get out there and, and find a way to work the system, make the system work for you and jump through the loopholes and Donald Trump, Warren Buffett, all these filthy rich ass people are doing it. Nancy Pelosi, they're all doing it. That's the reason, that's the reason they're so wealthy is because they've, they've rigged the system to work for them. You can get in on it too. And you know, I'm not giving you financial advice here or anything, but um, yeah, wow, I got way off topic. Uh, start, okay, so start with Alaska Airlines Rewards Program. I mean, that's that was just absolute bullshit. And I wish I would have screenshot it. And if it comes up again, I'll screenshot it and put it in the comments or or edit it into my background or, or whatever. I haven't really, I haven't learned how to do any film editing. You know, oh yeah, shocking because you can tell I'm just just going through this from beginning to end, just totally ad lib almost. Um, so yeah, Alaska Airlines kind of on my shit list. And then I called them. I was like, well, what's going on here? They're called the, the, the rewards program uh, number. And they were like, oh, well, that's just what Alaska Airlines charges us. I said, well, but why is Alaska Airlines on their website, not on kayak or trip.com or hacked or anything on Alaska Airlines costs this amount? They're like, well, we don't have anything to do. I call Alaska Airlines. And they're like, well, we don't have anything to do with what they charge. It's like, okay, well, screw you guys. So they're on my shit list, but Reason number two is they wouldn't let my dog on the plane when I was moving back up here. I was going fishing. This was COVID-19 hysteria. Um, and, um, you know, I got my um, emotional support animal uh, cert for my dog. So I wanted to move my dog up here and I just had to jump through the loop holes and uh, play the system. I mean, he's a, he's a pit bull. He's got a short snout and he, uh, you know, a short snout dog. You don't want to travel under the plane because they could suffocate. Um, so, uh, I mean, regardless, they shut down their pet carry program and it was, it was a big fiasco and they were just like, oh, well, you just can't get on the plane until, uh, you get a doctor to sign this thing off. Cause their, their standard was different than American airlines who is who I got on initially with. And the lady, the liaison lady was like, well, it's your responsibility to make sure that, that airline companies have the same programs. I'm like, you're kidding me, right? Who the hell would think to be like, well, hang on, I have a layover, I'm jumping companies. Let me double check their policy. Who the fuck would think of that? Don't give me that bullshit. You're the airlines. It's your responsibility to get me to my destination, regardless of this. So, I mean, anyway, it was absolutely stupid. So my buddy ended up forging down in Washington. Uh, same guy that rescued my dirt bike. That was another uh, episode. <laughs> we ended up just forging the document. So fuck you, Alaska Airlines, and fuck all your nonsense. But so... Anyway, y'all are on my shit list. Um, again, got way off topic there. So screw Alaska Airlines. Um, use use the rewards systems through uh, uh, credit card companies to your advantage. Go make money so you those, so those things help you out. And you not only the necessities become cheaper, but the luxuries become actual luxuries. Like oh well, fuck it. I, I'll just fly to Europe for a week, and it it costs me nothing. Just running my business. You know, I mean, not everybody can run a, a, a big corporation, but it doesn't take that. You just need to reduce your expenses enough to, to get ahead. So anyway, I've been ranting long enough. So thank you for joining me. Uh, like and share, and I hope to see you again. So have a good day.